Hey, hey, Scorpio, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your September 2022 monthly reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. Today we'll dive into the collective energy of Scorpio and take a look at the overall energy showing up for you in the month of September. So please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are interested in a personal reading or even entering into the free monthly reading giveaway, you can find both of those links in the description box below. All right, Scorpio, what are the main key themes, literally key themes showing up for you in the month of September? We have the keys showing up. This talks about important choices in your life. So there are going to be a few things that you are figuring out this month that is going to serve a higher goal, a higher purpose. Now you also have fire, which talks about ambitious goals. I really like this. Now this may be pertaining to your career, your finances, your money. It certainly can be relationships as well, which will clarify every category. We also have climbing and we have the moving up energy here. So right away, <clears throat> There are some doors unlocking here, and I feel like you're holding the key. This is about important choices regarding, it could again be your finances, it could be your health as well, because just kind of glancing down here, you have quite a few pentacles out on the board here. You actually have the six of pentacles, the five of pentacles, and the three of pentacles. So you may be really focused uh, on your health or on the material world at this time or your prosperity, your body, the physical, which is okay. So you may be making choices around health. There could be decisions regarding uh, even a surgery or uh, some sort of health routine or health care that's showing up for you in the month of September. Uh, for others of you, this is about discovering new depths regarding financial issues or financial challenges that you have endured. This is about you setting new ambitious goals for yourself, climbing up the ladder or building a business, growing a business here. So I like that you have ambitious goals showing up next Scorpio because September is the perfect time to get that ball rolling. Even though when I set out to do these September readings, Spirit was channeling, uh, helping me channel the energy for the next four months is what I kept hearing, September, October, November, and December. So I feel like you are making important decisions and choices right now that is going to affect your health and affect your finances long term. Now you're setting those goals now and I feel like you're getting clear on what you need to do to set things into action, which is good because you may have been going round and round, which we'll talk about here momentarily. You have the climbing up. You're finally feeling like you're reaching that level, but it's been a challenge for you. Most people, when they climb, they're on the opposite side, but you are completely, it looks like defying gravity here. So I feel like you're moving up, but it's taken a long time. It's taken a struggle and it's been maybe a challenge because at times you feel like forces are working against you instead of with you here. So I do like this because you are highly ambitious. I mean, in order to kind of, climb a mountain or be in this energy here, you have to be ambitious. This isn't for the weak hearted here or uh, the, <clears throat> this isn't for people who are wanting to bring in change in a positive way here. There's work that has to be had here and this decision that you're about to make or decisions, uh, they're going to bring you a really wonderful sense of achievement, even if in, in the long run. Now, the cards that you have out here regarding tarot, we have the devil, we have the six of material, five of material, three of material, that's pentacles. We also have the five of emotions, which is the five of cups. We have the eight of swords and the queen of swords. So what I'm sensing right here is that there may be a belief, there may be a person, a, a habitat, a situation. There's just something going on here in your life that is pulling you off path or feeling like you are taking maybe a detour or a back road, a dark alley type of energy instead of seeing the clear path ahead with this devil energy. This can be anything that tempts you to go in a different direction than what your soul is really calling you to do here. It can be addictions, obsessions, fears. It can be codependency, materialism. It can even be uh, codependent or excuse me, <clears throat> 
like, yes, codependency. Uh, I'm feeling that for some of you, it has to do with health and it has to do with your material world as well because you have pentacles lined up at one after another here. So I'm just gonna kind of go in order here, the three, the five, and the six. So I feel like you do have uh, teamwork coming in. You do have support, resources, abundance that is readily available. Now, I'm not sure if you can see that because of the toxicity because of a situation that seems a little bit challenging or difficult to kind of pull away from at this time. But you do have people that want to help you out. I mean, the three and the six of pentacles are good cards here. And the fact that they are middle, uh, middle of the road here with this five of pentacles, if you've dealt with any money or health issues, some of you, maybe you had to file bankruptcy. You had to deal with a foreclosure, a job loss, a serious health or in illness, whether in your life or a family member's that you had to take a loss, take a cut. There's some sort of disappointment or stress or anxiety that I'm feeling, especially because you have the five of cups and you have the eight of swords showing up here as well. So there was a loss or a disappointment. Something may not have turned out, but ultimately the sole lesson for you, Scorpio, is so you can reclaim your power so that you can untie yourself with the Eight of Swords energy here. The Eight of Swords feels trapped and restricted, helpless and hopeless, but it's about you opening your eyes to what's right in front of you and you are able to make the decision why and how because you hold the key. You are the only one that can take off that blindfold and see the goodness that's coming from the situations. You're climbing up. You're able to see the truth for what it is, I feel, in the month of September. That's going to carry you into September through December where you are feeling ambitious. You are feeling like you're finally moving up after a time of feeling stuck or lost or even disappointed here. You are the one that is getting rid of the restrictions that maybe have been placed in front of you. And uh, the devil energy is about you reclaiming your power. So I like this for you. If you have been going through the a challenging time here with the double fives, there's an ending coming in here for you. It's how you perceive the situation, but there may also be help. The three of materials, three of pentacles is about teamwork, cooperation, working together to create something better. Whether it's a support team, whether it's family, it could be therapists, it could be uh, people that you work with as well. I feel like if there's somebody who's not pulling the weight, leaving you feeling like there's toxicity, if somebody is not doing what they're supposed to, and you're the one picking up the slack here, I feel like you are making important important choices that will be beneficial to your health right now and in the long run. So you are the one that is changing this dynamic here, but there are people I feel that can help you because like you see here, three heads stacked up on top of each other. It's like three heads are better than one here. Freeing yourself from a situation where, again, somebody's not necessarily pulling the weight. Uh, and I feel like you at times feel like you have to do everything all on your own. But the good news is there's an unexpected gift coming in here for you. Six of Pentacles, an unexpected resource. It can be a gift, a donation, a grant, scholarship, loan. It can be generosity, charitable contributions, financial aid, whatever this is for you. You've put out a lot into the universe. You've helped a lot of people and it's time for you to receive that help as well. So there's an equal give and take. Now, if this is a relationship that you are in that feels toxic, it may be one-sided. And you may be telling yourself at this time, uh, I am take giving, 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 but not receiving or vice versa here. So there's just a one-sided type of energy when really there needs to be collaboration. There needs to be teamwork here because it's stressing you out, stressing you out, Scorpio, and it's affecting your physical, mental, and spiritual health here. But the good news is I feel by the end of September, you are in this queen of, uh, queen of swords, queen of voices energy here. And this is setting healthy boundaries. This is about you saying yes, if it's a soul yes, and saying no because you mean it. You don't have to try to please everyone or you don't have to sit in that bitterness or that anger because sometimes, Scorpio, you tend to hold things in without properly expressing or communicating and then it causes bitterness and it causes resentment. And I see that you are ambitious about making choices that are better for your 
highest good, better for your health here. I'm really getting, uh, sometimes there can be a little bit of stress, heaviness, maybe even a little bit of anxiety. Somebody, they're showing me an, an inhaler, an inhaler. So some of you may have suffered from asthma, maybe as a child or even still as an adult, where you still have some troubles at times with breathing. Please take that as it resonates. But the Queen of Swords, she doesn't want to put up with any BS. She's very experienced and she'll share her knowledge, but she's not interested in games. She's not interested in this manipulation or this fantasy that other people try to spin around and around here, especially because you do have the round and round card and I will read to you the prosperity message from the guidebook towards the end but I feel like if you've been going through a never-ending cycle a routine that has become stagnant or it's become no longer fun or if it just becomes uh, too toxic for you I feel like you're reclaiming your power by the end of the month and it's something you will continue to work on throughout the rest of 2022 but you have ambitious goals you're making decisions Instead of daydreaming about those goals, Scorpio, you are putting those goals to action. And that's what I see here. And because you're doing that, you're actually climbing up. If you are looking for maybe a new job, if you're looking to speak what's on your mind, if you are looking for a raise or to be compensated for your work, I feel like you're going to tell someone what you need, what your boundaries are. And if they can't meet you halfway, I feel like you're going to make decisions and important choices in regards to your life, whether it's personal, whether it's professional. I like this. I feel like you're standing up for yourself. You're taking back control of your health, back control of your power after things kind of getting a little bit disheveled for quite some time here. Now you do have koi fish, koi fish spirit showing up here. It says there is always enough. So whether it's love, there's plenty of fish in the sea. Whether it is a job or a career, there is plenty to go around. And I know it seems that we're in a time of scarcity or a time of lack of, but that is what you, if you believe that that is what we are heading towards, that's kind of the energy you're putting out and you'll get in return. But if you believe that there is plenty to go around and that you are learning and your soul is evolving with every challenge and every happiness, happy moment that you take, you'll realize that there is enough. But most importantly here, this is about you recognizing your worth, recognizing that you deserve more than maybe you are currently dealing with right now. I will say I don't love this devil energy showing up because I feel like there is some sort of attachment. But at the same time, it almost seems like it's distant. It's distant. So I feel like you're trying to get far away from this devil energy as you can and uh, bring back your health, bring back feeling happy, feeling good, bringing back these ambitious goals and moving forward here, which I certainly see you will be doing. Now regarding finances, abundance and income possibly, we do have the seal and we have the gift. So the seal talks about business contracts. It talks about paperwork, documents. It can be about a gift of money, which we just talked about as well with the six of pentacles. So the six of pentacles can be about an unexpected resource. It can be about a bonus, a raise, financial aid. There's some sort of paperwork that you may be looking over. It may have to do with a career in writing. It could be clerical or you are dealing with a lot of paperwork at this time. Um, this could also be you staying put with where you are because it does say staying put here. So if you are in a job that you feel is challenging you, I feel like you may be staying put, but you may be speaking up for what you need. Okay. For others of you, if you are a business owner or an entrepreneur, you may be signing business contracts. You may be coming up with new legal uh, ramifications. They just gave me legal ramifications. So some of you may be dealing with something within the legal system or getting papers looked at by a lawyer, or it could be something with the power of attorney here I'm sensing. So please take that as it resonates. And you also have the gift, which is that Six of Pentacles energy as well. This is about giving and receiving, sudden windfalls, generosity. Literally, it's the Six of Pentacles. Now, you may have a career where you are uh, dealing with finances or accounting, but what I'm feeling from this energy is support. This is about 
you being supported in help coming in for you, which we see with the Three of Pentacles. So this can also be about a work surprise or taking a little bit of time off for either a vacation or to maybe sign papers. Some of you may be moving or signing real estate documentation or some sort of court or legal paperwork. Um, I just heard as well, some of you may be getting, uh, it could be either a passport or it could be paperwork to be able to move into or stay in a country or to leave a country here. There's something with that paperwork or documentation coming through in September. All right. So in regards to love, let's see what we have here for love. And not all of you are looking for love if you're single. You may be single and happy. You could be single and looking. Maybe you're in a partnership uh, or maybe it's complicated at this time. We have Mercury going into retrograde around September 9th. So issues from the past, even people from the past, sometimes show up during retrogrades because we still are hanging on to a few things. Well, you have release your ex. It says the time has come to clear your energy. And for some of you, that could be who this devil energy is. Some of you may be saying, yep, my ex is certainly a devil, but I'm not going to see him. They're not coming back. Well, even if you don't physically see them, you may have some emotions that resurface from a time that you were together or maybe some insecurities that you took on at the, during the time that you were with this person here. Scorpio, we also have that full moon on the 10th of September that highlights your fifth house of passion, self-expression, and authenticity. So there are going to be a few things that show up for you that really test your self-expression. It's important for you to move forward feeling passionate about what it is that you do, who it is that you surround your energy with, and also about your goals and who you are on that deep level. So that's that's why this may be showing up for you. Now, some of you are already in the presence or have met your soulmate. It says, yes, this is your soulmate. You already know this. So if this is you, your passion and your self-expression is highlighted. It's very important for you to set goals with each other. It's important for you to continue climbing up, not let any setbacks get in the way of achieving happiness. Work with other people, whether it may be a marriage counselor or a therapist. This could be even bringing friends into the mix so you're able to go out and enjoy activities with a group of like-minded people. It could be going out to dinner, double dates with your friends. Uh, five of material and five of emotions, pentacles and cups showing up here. So I do feel with the double fives, there's an energy of change in this dynamic. There is an energy of overcoming conflict. For some of you, it could be traveling as well. There could be long distance love or online dating where you're talking to somebody online. Uh, but but Scorpio, I feel like if you know that you're in the energy of a soulmate, some of you may have been dreaming about a person as well, know that they are here to teach you some very important lessons. And then for those of you that are looking for love, or you are separated or going through a challenging time, love, great love is worth waiting for here. And it says divine timing is at work in your love life. I'm seeing a clock watch. They're actually showing me um, the rabbit from Alice in Wonderland, like, I'm in a hurry, I'm in a hurry, constantly looking at that watch. And I feel like that could be you at times thinking uh, that you are either too old for love or you're not lovable, or there's just something here with you've been waiting for quite some time and you may have a lack of belief that it's never going to happen, but knowing that divine timing is at work in your love life. Some of you had to deal with other soul lessons or other priorities prior to uh, being in that energy of love, but know that love shows up in all shapes, sizes, and forms. It's not just intimate or romantic love. It's animals and pets. It is family. It is friendships. It is, you know, people that you maybe work with, work for, or your clients, but great love is worth waiting for, and I feel like you are opening up your heart after a time of uh, reclaiming your power, whatever this devil energy was, I feel like this took little bits and pieces of you, maybe slowly and over time you realize, wow, that really did a number on me. But I feel like you're opening up here and I feel like love is coming in for you sooner rather than later, especially within the next four months. Now, what do we have here from your spiritual team? 
we have nature and we also have inspire passion and it says this is a time to absorb the healing properties that nature has to offer your mind body and soul need nourishment energy revitalization and strength Nature has much to offer, so take this time to connect and spend some quality time outdoors. Even if you were just outside yesterday, there's a difference between you know being outside, walking to your vehicle, or uh, walking to your work. There is an energy of you enjoying the maybe the color change of the leaves, you enjoying the water, the the different sounds, the different changes. If you can really pay attention to the changes, transformations, but also the energy that spirit is bringing your way through animals through uh, you know the subtle movements of nature I feel like you can really tune in and connect to yourself and this is what you need at this time your body does need that revitalization type of energy to help give you that strength to make these decisions that you'll be making that are gonna better your life Scorpio inspire passion this is a a very powerful energy especially because Scorpio there is a sense here of you having these goals and take a look at this the fire is lit this is the passion within your heart here whether it's passion towards a person towards a project towards your career or just feeling good about your life feeling inspired it says life devoid of passion can be a boring uninspired blank canvas that slowly drains the soul now is the time to reignite your passions and rejoin life this is an opportunity to set new goals i love it yes there it is ambitious goals which will in turn reconnect you with all that is sacred now is the time to set those goals uh, to maybe even create a vision board scorpio it's coming up to your season here within the next few months and it's a perfect time to get the ball rolling on things that maybe you've set aside uh, to start back up they're showing me housework maybe reorganizing cleaning decluttering uh, so there may be some projects that are in the works for some fall time uh, next we have here from the soul truth this is something I really want you to ask yourself not just once but maybe on a continual basis until you really master uh, feeling a certain way that you want to feel am I in my head or in my heart what is the quality of your self-talk Scorpio our brain is like a muscle if we condition it daily the fears and limitations will take over mastering our thoughts is about being the creator of our own life where your head meets your heart is where miracles happen today is soul action today you master your mind watch an inspiring video do some tapping read an empowering book or write out all the reasons why you believe in yourself and your dreams sometimes we can get up in our head especially when we go through an emotional loss or we go through an illness or we go through a financial crisis or any of those challenges that we face here on earth which nobody is uh, exempt from dealing with challenges I you'll never meet a person who said oh I haven't had any challenges in life challenges show up in all shapes sizes and forms some smaller than others but they're all significantly important and you've certainly been through some change some conflict some challenge here but I feel at times uh, we tend to as humans I'm guilty of it myself at times especially being an air sign uh, but you get in your head and it's important to drop down to that heart center or at least meet in the middle because that again is where the miracles happen when your head meets your heart all right next we have round and round and this is from the wisdom of the oracle I'm just gonna read to you uh, the message showing up here that I feel pulled towards and then we'll get to your crystal and wrap up your reading so it says the appearance of this card Scorpio is a reminder that although it may appear that you've gone backward the truth is that you are standing at a higher level looking down into your circumstances I just have to pause Wow the fact that you have this card it looks like you're going backwards you're on the mountain backwards right but you really are moving up you really are climbing up here so it says looking down into your circumstances you will learn something do something better and break a cycle set up in the past you actually have a bird's eye view of your initial footprints and can access the wisdom and lessons learned 
I love this for you, Scorpio. Yes, no more repetitive cycle. No more going round and round. Even though it seems like you may be taking five steps backwards. It may seem like you're on the wrong end of the mountain. You really are climbing up. Your soul is evolving. So regardless of where you are, you're reclaiming your power. And the lessons that you've had to face, you're seeing them for what they are and you're also seeing the silver lining. You're on the path to freedom is what I just heard. You're on the path to freedom. So I love this for you. If you felt like you've been on that never ending cycle, like things haven't changed for quite some time, expect to get into that energy of action, ambitious goals. Some of you are losing weight uh, or you're focusing on a healthy body, healthy mind. Some of you are joining maybe a meditation class, even through an online course, a workshop, or a Zoom meeting. You may meeting, be meeting with other people who can help you drop to that heart center, whether it's through coaching, mentoring, or it could be new job opportunities that come up. There's a lot of new doors opening for you, and I feel like you're excited to walk through them. You haven't had the ambition. You haven't had the energy in the past to really tackle some goals that you've had for yourself, but the good news is you are ready. Now, last but not least, the crystal that I was intuitively guided towards is uh, amethyst. And amethyst releases sorrow. Amethyst also uh, opens up that heart chakra and that third eye to help you manifest and help you forgive. There's an energy here of forgiving, but it also helps you channel and understand and bring clarity, which we just talked about here with that round and round card. So you can utilize the energy here of amethyst. Now, if you work with crystals, most people do have amethyst. You can either wear it around your neck. Uh, you can sleep with it under your pillow. Uh, you can carry it around with you if you'd like, but amethyst can really help you see the bigger picture and help you see that silver lining in the lessons that we have here on earth. So amethyst will help connect you to your higher self and to the divine. So I hope this resonates with you, Scorpio. You have a lot of really wonderful changes showing up here, but remember, you hold the key. You are the manifester and creator of your life. <clears throat> if this resonates, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button, Scorpio. Feel free to share, like, comment, hit that subscribe and notification bell, and please stay tuned for next week's full moon reading. Lots of love, Scorpio. Thanks for tuning in.